Hi, I'm your host, Chef Tish Tansel, and this is Urban S. Living. And today, I'm going to show you how to make your salads taste like those fancy salads you get in the upscale restaurants. You know, the ones that have the fancy nuts. Well, today, I'm going to show you how to make some of those fancy nuts that you can garnish your salads with. Today, we are making rosemary pecans. Stay tuned. Families come in all sizes and shapes. Sometimes your friends are your family by choice, or sometimes you're just stuck with Uncle Charles. But what we know is that you want to protect the people that are close to you. But the flu can unravel everything. Your flu vaccine protects you and your family. No matter what draws your family together, protect yourself, protect your family. Everyone needs a flu vaccine. Hi, welcome back to Urban S Living. And like I said, today I'm going to show you how to make some of those fancy nuts that you find in those upscale salad bars. Today I'm going to show you how to make rosemary pecans. And of course, the two most vital ingredients to rosemary pecans are pecans and rosemary. Now I went to the store and found some organic rosemary. If you grow some in your own home garden, that's perfectly fine also. But the first thing that you have to do to the rosemary is to get the little leaves off of the stalk. And that's very easy. You just take it, peel them back, and they come off very easily. Now, depending upon how much rosemary you, you like, you might like a little flavor, you might like a lot of flavor. Because we're not doing a great deal of pecans, we really don't need a lot, but I'm doing these for my mom who loves rosemary. So I'm adding just a little bit of extra rosemary just for her. Now you don't really have to cut these rosemary petals up because we are going to actually infuse our brown sugar. Part of making the rosemary pecans is to make a glaze. And the glaze is made with brown sugar, butter, and some spices. So what we want to do first of all is turn on our induction cooktop. Okay, so our induction cooktop is on at about 280 degrees, and we're going to use butter because butter is so luscious. And like I said, these rosemary pecans are a gift to my mother, so we want to make sure that uh, we meet her taste specifications. If I was doing this for myself, I would probably use some type of oil, but because I'm giving these as a gift, I want to really have a, a very good luscious flavor. So I'm going to melt about a stick of butter. So while the butter is melting, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with our rosemary and brown sugar because we want to infuse the flavor. I have a small food processor. So I'm just going to add the rosemary leaves in here. And I'm going to take my brown sugar and I'm going to add a little bit of the brown sugar in here as well. Okay, so we're just going to toss the butter around because we don't really want it to burn, but actually brown butter is very good. It has a lot of great flavor. So we are going to be sticking our pecans in the oven, so that's actually going to give us some great flavor as well. So we have our brown sugar and our rosemary in our food processor, and we're just going to pulse it. rosemary pretty well ground up. I'm going to add our spices and I have vanilla bean, about a teaspoon of vanilla bean, about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a little kosher salt. Now you can add sea salt, you can add uh, some of the flavored salt that they have out now. Some salt actually has a vanilla flavor so you can add that. So I'm just going to Blend this all together. Then we're going to stir our butter a little bit. It actually has a nice brown caramelized color to it, and it's perfect for our brown sugar. So I'm going to add the remainder of the brown sugar that we didn't grind up with our spices, and I'm going to add the brown sugar also, and I'm just going to stir this. Now, if you have a candy thermometer, you can use that, but it's really not necessary. 
you can really tell when it's at the right point because it's at a, a, a caramely stage. Now the beautiful thing about cooking with cast iron is that it has a lot of times a natural non-stick finish. So you don't have to worry about all the sugar sticking to your pan that you have to get off later on. I'm gonna turn this off now and I'm gonna bring in our pecans. Now this, it's not hot, but I'm still gonna use one of our other things. We like to practice kitchen safety, and this is one of our silicone oven mitts that's great for handling hot pots such as this. All right, great. Our rosemary pecans now are nice and glazed over. So what I'm going to do in order to complete the process and let them dry is I'm going to put them on a sheet tray and I'm going to put them in the oven and let them roast a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to spread them out on our sheet tray and I'm going to put these in the oven. And we're just going to toss them about every 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to clean up my kitchen and when I come back, I'll toss the nuts again. Gaining weight was easy. All I had to do was sit down and eat. Losing weight's a lot harder. I have to work at it every day. But with every step, I lower my risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease. And that makes every step, every choice, every day. Very much worth the effort. Learn how you can help stop diabetes by losing weight, eating healthy, and staying active. Visit CheckUpAmerica.org or call 1-800-DIABETES. Welcome back to Urban S. Living. The house smells wonderful, full of rosemary and roasted nuts. Let's take them out of the oven now because they don't take long to glaze. We use our oven mitts because you know these pans are hot. You can't go lifting pans with your bare hands. Our rosemary pecans are nice and shiny. They have a wonderful aroma. Once they cool off a little bit, I'm going to taste them. But these are very easy to make. You just need some rosemary preferably fresh rosemary, some brown sugar, but you can use white if you prefer them to be a little lighter. And you just need a, a, a silicone mat in order to stick them into the oven. But if you don't have a silicone mat, you can use a non-stick spray as well. It's all good as long as you make sure that it's urban-esque. Thank you for joining me.